teachings from a none too distant past of some sort. I'm Scythe, and I'm bringing you a series on Kingdom Hearts Birth My Sleep. As promised, of course. Anyways, let's just get right into it. Because I don't know what I'm doing for this one. Uh, and I just don't want to mess up anymore. Okay. So, this being the second Kingdom Hearts game I'm playing, although only available on my alternate channel of sorts. And yes, I will be skipping certain cutscenes that might um, compromise the or contain any music that will cause a flag as I received such thing on my finale of Chain of Memories Rebirth. Yeah, I'm just not used to this anymore. <laughs> That's the only downside of taking a break of some sort. <sighs> This world is just too small. Yes, we're going to deal with low times because I'm running the game off the original UMD, so... Well, it, I didn't install the data, so it probably will load a little bit faster, but not too much. I gotta totally watch the battery. There, you see, an empty world, like a prison. I imagine you will be right at home. That kid looks familiar for some reason. Who's there? So it's going to take me a little bit of a while to get used to a PSP again after using a Vita for so long. I'm just not used to it. The feel is about the same, but... Was obviously con very convenient. Right. Thanks. Open. 
open the door. And yet another familiar sight. I just don't know what I'm talking about right now. B. Right, still, the beginning of games, cutscene heaven. Although very unavoidable at times. to do with this air static either. shower. I guess that is some cause to go out at night. So, meteors are supposed to go down, not up. Low times! Do, 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 do. <laughs> I can't see much from here. Curses light pollution. Well, we already know the basic controls in any Kingdom Hearts game. Uh, uh, oh. oh, I've got time to spare. Yes, we do. Again. Yeah. 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 Tutorials are about the same as always, except the command deck. Your command deck contains special moves. Use the D-pad to select one, then press triangle to use it once the gauge is filled. What? You want a piece of me too? Yeah. Yeah. 
You can lock on the target so they so that the camera automatically keeps them in view. Lock on by tapping the L and R at the same time. Yeah. Okay, uh, once you're locked on, you can switch targets using the L or R or tap both of them to exit lock on. So that's the only added challenge of locking on is pressing both the L and R buttons, which I've been doing <laughs> accidentally yeah. in Chain of Memories for some reason. I guess it's just typical... You found the slotting dash command. Press the start button to open the main menu when you can install it in your command deck. What if I don't want to? Wait, what am I messing around here for? I'm gonna miss the meteor shower. You better hurry. But anyway, I should do what it says. Why is it taking so long to load the menu? Install commands to your deck to use them. Start by choosing Edit Deck. There are different types of commands you can install, like battle commands and action commands. You can get a command faster by setting a shortcut with the square button. Your current shortcut is highlighted in yellow. In combat, you can jump to the right to your shortcut by pressing the left D-pad. Defeat enemies to earn CP. Commands at the maximum level are marked with a crown. Quick bits have already reached the maximum level, so its scan ability is now yours to keep. Auto abilities will stay active even if you don't have them installed in your deck. Which is good because that's really nice. I'm gonna install sliding di dash later. Just wanted to get that tutorial out of the way, even though I poorly explained it, whatever. Not like I'm in some sort of rush to do anything. Except for a meteor shower, you know, those are always nice. Wow. Okay, slightly they're going the right direction now, but they're still not falling the correct way. Why does this seem so familiar? You fell asleep. <sighs> <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> Give me a break, Aqua. Then, you hopeless sleepyhead. You know, you should have at least brought a blanket. But, did I dream that place up? It really felt like I'd been there before, looking up at the stars. <sighs> You haven't. Let's just put Except it that way. Except you've always lived here with us. Yeah. I know. <sighs> hey, Aqua. Hmm? You ever wonder what stars are? Where light comes from? Hmm. Well, they say... That every star up there is another world. Huh? Oh. Tara! Yep. Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, then. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now! You're too young to know now. Quit treating me like a kid! <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? I can't help it. You two would make the weirdest brothers. <laughs> huh? huh? <laughs> that would be true, I guess. Oh, 
Yeah. Tara, you and I have our Mark of Mastery exams tomorrow. I made us good luck charms. Uh, wow. Here. I get one too? Of course. One for each of us. Yeah. Somewhere out there, there's this tree with star-shaped fruit. And the fruit represents an unbreakable connection. So as long as you and your friends carry good luck charms shaped like it, nothing can ever drive you apart. You will always find your way back to each other. Technically, I think you're supposed to make them with seashells. <laughs> but I did the best with what I had. Oi, sometimes you are such a girl. Hey, what do you mean sometimes? So this isn't a real good luck charm? Well, that's yet to be seen. But I did work a little magic on it. Really? What? <laughs> An unbreakable connection. The bond between friends is unbreakable. Obtain the Wayfinder, times three. One of three good luck charms Aqua made for herself and her friends on the day of the mar mastery exam. <coughs> or before, sorry. Borrow your friend's power. So the Wayfinder, Wayfinder allows you to dimension link with your friends and borrow their powers. You'll meet lots of characters throughout the, the story which you can de-link with. <coughs> Odds are I'm just going to borrow my own. <laughs> Well, tomorrow's the exam. Anybody want to spar? I can take you. Which is a little bit cheating, I would say, because... Well, a little bit. Uh, we know that. We know that. Just gotta get used to how all the characters control and etc. Come on. Got it. Quit going easy on me. You're not gonna win unless you stay on the offensive. Basically, you can get a feel for all the characters in this. This command gauge fills when your attacks hit enemies. If you go for a few seconds without landing an attack, it will start to drain. Once you fill the gauge all the way, you can devastate opponents with a powerful finish command. I always hated Terra. He's so slow and kind of bulky in attack-wise, I mean. Using triangle commands instead of regular attacks will fill the command gate. Er, let me rephrase that. Using triangle commands instead of regular attacks will to fill the command gate may cause you to change command styles. Command styles will make your X attacks even much more powerful. Can I just say normal? Is there any harm in that? Which command style you'll get depends on the commands you use to fill the gate. You will unlock more as you progress. Some command styles are tricky to activate. Try all kinds of command combinations. Well, that works fine if you're fighting one-on-one, -on -one, but you need to know how to handle a crowd, too. Character sweep. I didn't mention. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Never mind. I won't go back. Might have said something. Use your shot lock command to hit, hit, hit a lot of enemies at once. Hold down L and R, and a big target circle will appear. Use the analog nub to point the circle at one or more enemies to lock on multiple times. While still holding L and R, press X to use your shot lock, 
which has enemies as many times you are locked on for. Okay, it's not perfect, but... Shotlock attacks require focus. This focus gauge will drain when you hit use them. Okay, let's wrap this up. Uh, I will choose not Terra. Ah, oh, damn it! I meant to choose Ventus. Oh well, let's just get this out of the way. Gotcha! Take that! Oh no, I'm gonna lose. I'm in trouble tomorrow. Yes, you are. I just gotta get used to how you attack, that's all. I haven't played this game for a while. And last time I was trying to take on an opponent I couldn't really defeat in... You know it! Oh, that's cheating. Ah, uh, it's really frames when you're dodging. So awesome. Win. Strike rate! Ah, oh, what? That doesn't count. Do over. I so want to do over. I'm gonna get used to this game again. Should have played a little bit beforehand. <laughs> 